to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down on their guard. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it, if you like.
another battle with nearly a moment to breathe. We must try to find a moment to gather our strength. I see you've been drenched. Dry off as soon as you can. Enemies have grown in number. This battle's end is more distant than I'd hoped. I shall heal you at once. Halt, if you please. Thank you. 
Let me get that. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. Over here, if you please. I've just recalled. I found a trick. Can it be you are lost, Arisen One? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead if you so desire. You will find the path you ought to follow inscribed herein. Would you know the fate of another? This meeting shall not be our last, Arisen One. I've got wares of every ill. Hope to see you again, eh, Long? I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. We ought to have enough supplies to last us a while now. Right you are.
I was wondering when you'd show. Now, are you ready to aid me in sketching that griffin? Remember, you'll need to draw the fight out as long as you can. I must behold the creature from every angle if I am to coax it lifelike from the stone. Marvelous. Up we go then. Let us accompany Sir Fulvio and face this griffin. Let us endeavor to keep pace with our guide. I suppose that will have to do. I'll have to use my imagination for the finer details up here. But it should turn out well, all the same. This party is fit for adventure. Our strengths complement each other well. No challenge is beyond our combined might. True enough.
went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. It would allow us to save our strength. Assuming we're not attacked, that is. My joints are not to complain of. <coughs> well met, sir. How is the day treating you then? Ah, now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Stop by again soon. A chest. I'll examine its contents, shall I? Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use.
Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy some. Thing and see the truth for yourself. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. Have we any gold left after that extravagance? It was hardly a loss, if one considers the value of what we have gained. I find myself hard pressed to respond. Never should attack with this shit. Reckon your trade towns can make you right sick of crap. We must rest, though the sun is still up. To this world I return, ready to put all I've learned to use. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see. The creation of a masterpiece takes time, sir. Pray do not. The creation of a masterpiece takes time, sir. Many thanks to you. Welcome, sir. After all, it is folly to linger on. A single vocation. When there is always a pleasure.
Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Have you not eyes to see my busy st Hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum? I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Well, hello there. Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the... Border where quarrels occur every other day. Always a pleasure.
bloody affair. Interested in my wares? Greetings! We see a great many customers given out. Pleasure doing business. Interested in my wares? Looking to gain entry to Merdin's Manor, are you? <laughs> Good luck. First, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. That ponce. You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. Welcome, sir. Come if you think me a liar, then buy something and see that the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Many thanks to you. Tis a mere copy, and apparently worthless. But not so if I were to bring it back with me beyond the rift. Now th It is a surprise. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Go on, have a look. Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. Let us endeavor to keep pace with our gut. What business have you here? This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Ah! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah oh, well, 
I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easily. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I, I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisen. Though I failed in my quest, I've learned much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. I wonder how Sir Fulvio's sculpture is coming along. Mayhap would behoove us to pay him a visit. If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. Guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. When all's said and done, I'm quite glad my experiment failed. Though I wish I knew why it did. Alas, such things are best forgotten. In fact, methinks you ought to take this grimoire off my hand, sir. No sense in my holding on to it. When all's said and done, alas, such things are. Over here, if you would. We need not words to show our intentions. The elves may come to trust us if we prove ourselves indeed. We have arrived. Have you found Gwafentia? A dwarven blacksmith has some? Truly? But elves and dwarves do not see, uh, eye to eye? I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutria. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutria is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it, if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Bring them to me, and I will prepare Nutriab. Do you have the ingredients? I thank you. Bring them to me, and I will prepare Nutriab.
Aver hun? Sinde fil arenka. The apples and fish we gathered have gone rotten, Master, judging by the smell. Shall we see them to Miss Darren? Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. Hmm. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the Dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this, but I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better. Let me get that. You're back! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? I ne'er met one afore. <laughs> Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes. I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvelous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me, you put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sara, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder. What business have you here? You haven't forgotten us, have you, Master? Right, here we are. Oi, Brocker, 
You in here? What's all this racket? I thought I told you that... You imbecile. You brought an elf here, of all things. Get her out of here, now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift for you. Ah, what makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this. And I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Rocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Best start searching. Rocker might be back any moment. A cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? Narrow passages may await us. Be on your guard. Understood. Well worth the effort of breaking it. your senses. If aught feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. We have found a material. My heart. 
heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? You've got so much. With this, the Arbor Heart will undoubtedly recover. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Broker. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now the Arbor Heart is sure to recover, and seeing Miss Darren's cheerful mien made all our labors worthwhile. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. No thanks needed. I was just glad to be a use. I hope...